Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to check out two new brands for me. I haven't checked their stores before and I'm very excited to discover new jewelry for myself and I'll take you with me. And after that I'm going to go to Van Cleef and Arpels to check out their new rose gold guilloche and I will also check out some of the items that are currently on my wish list. If you like my content, please consider to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account, Black and Gold Style. Please also consider to check out my other playlists. I have posted quite a few videos about Cartier, Van Cleef and Arpels, Bulgari, Rolex, luxury tips and mistakes, Dior, jewelry, weekly vlogs, style and fashion, Chanel bags, luxury shopping vlogs, beauty products and travel videos. We are currently at Marina Bay Sands and we just had our dinner and finally it stopped raining. I'm just gonna go to check out some jewelry brands that some of you guys have been recommending to me to check out and I'm gonna take you guys with me. I hope that you will like this video. And now my first stop. I'm very excited to be here. I wanted to check out their jewelry for the longest time. I typically stick to the same brands but it's good to check out the new brands and just know what else is out there. I wanted to show you my absolute favorite collection, Happy Hearts. And it's actually made of pink gold and mother of pearl. And the hearts can actually move, which is so cool. And I like the diamond in the middle. And unfortunately, the earrings are not available in the store, but Asay told me that they are actually exactly the same size. They are available for pre-order, but if you don't want to get them, you would have to buy something else. The store does not refund the full amount, so you would have to have a store credit. Which is quite risky, because if you don't like anything else in the store, then your money is parked there and you will end up getting something else, just in sake of it. I'm actually excited to check out the earrings and I hope that they will come to the store so I can check the weight and how comfortable they feel on my ear. And Essay also told me that there is a matching ring and it would be the same size as the earrings and the pendant, which is so cool. You can create a full set. And this also come in white gold with diamonds. But personally, I prefer mother of pearl because I feel like it's more suitable for a daily wear and it's just so stunning. I was also told that these two sets don't come in yellow gold. Everything seems to be in pink gold which is quite interesting. I personally prefer yellow gold because I think it suits me more, it pops more on my skin tone. But the pink gold is not too bad as well, it just looks a little bit more muted on me. Essay also showed to me these earrings and they come with the diamond in the middle as well. And there is also a matching ring that I will show to you. Earrings are pretty light and the ring is quite light as well and I like the combination of yellow gold and white gold, they look amazing. Unfortunately the ring in my size is not available and this one is too big but it feels very comfortable. And it's quite interesting that this design also has a diamond in the middle. And I presume it would be quite easy to match different sets because of that. While it's definitely a gorgeous design, but I feel like it's a little bit too plain for me. And also I can see that the earrings are kind of sagging on my earlobes. I'm not sure I like this look. I will come back here sometime when they will have the earrings from the first set that they show to you. And now I'm going to check out more rings, bracelets and pendants. 
I'm very new to this brand as well, but I'm excited to check out what they have. Lately, I have been so obsessed with the idea of matching two metals, yellow gold and white gold, but unfortunately I couldn't find any jewelry in yellow gold. Most of the jewelry that I saw is actually in the rose gold, and the rose gold is a bit more pink. For example, you can see my Cartier Love bracelet that is in yellow gold, my Cartier Clash ring that is actually in the pink gold, and the pendant. It looks a lot more pink than my Cartier Clash ring. Actually, Cartier rose gold jewelry looks a bit more yellow. It's closer to the yellow gold, and that's what I like about it. And it's pretty easy to match it with my other jewelry. This gold is really different. I think I won't be able to match with anything that I have, so I would have to create new sets. But this pendant is super cute. I really like how it reflects the light and it sits so nice on my neck. I can make it longer or shorter and in this case I prefer a shorter length. The designs are so unique and distinctive and I really love the way they are reflecting the light. You can see them a mile away as if there are so many diamonds on them. It's really nice to explore new designs and styles. And also I will have a look at some bracelets and show to you guys as well. I tried on this one from Be My Love collection with diamonds and I like the way this bracelet looks with my Cartier Love bracelet and I also love this ring. Actually the design of the ring is so stunning. The bracelet is very gorgeous as well and it's quite easy to put it on and take it off. I also tried it on in the white gold, which is absolutely beautiful. It is so sparkly and again, it matches my Cartier Love bracelet very nicely. The styles are very different, but they still work quite well together. However, I wonder if it's easy to see scratches on this bracelet because the surface is quite shiny. Although the diamonds are making it a little bit easier to maintain it, I think I prefer this bracelet to the thin version of Cartier Love. To me, Cartier Love looks a little bit too simple and this version is a bit more dressy and this is the type I prefer. Actually, three of them look a little bit too much. I feel like if I styled with just one bracelet, it would be a lot better. And here is another bracelet in rose gold, but without the diamonds, so you can see them side by side. Actually, two of them look quite nice together, and I really like how sparkly they look. Such a beautiful combination. This collection is really pretty. Anyways, I am now at Van Cleef and Arpels and I'm here to check out the new guilloche in pink gold and I'm so excited to get to see it in the real life. There is this bracelet, a 20 motif necklace and two motif earrings. Actually, I was after the two motif earrings, but unfortunately they got sold out before I came to the store. I'm actually quite glad to know that this combination is going to be a part of permanent collection, which is great but I know it's going to be quite hard to get it as so many people are looking for this. Yellow gold guilloche is very popular and quite hard to find and I presume pink gold is going to be even more popular. I'm still not sure about the rose gold. It looks a bit more muted even though I think the earrings would be amazing. They definitely would not stand out as much as the yellow gold. Carnelian two motif earrings are still on my wish list. By the way, I have recently posted Van Cleef and Arpels wishlist video, which I will link down in the description box below for you guys in case you want to check it out. I would have to compare both of these earrings side by side and decide which ones suit me better. 
I think Guyosh is definitely way prettier than Tiger Eye but Tiger Eye pair of earrings is made of yellow gold which matches all my jewelry better and suits me more so it's going to be a tough decision I'm going to compare rose gold guilloche with yellow gold side by side and show to you guys Looking at them side by side, I feel like they're both beautiful but I still prefer the yellow gold If this bracelet and the two motif earrings came in yellow gold, they would be just a perfection Actually, yellow gold guilloche is on my wish list, and I'm definitely planning to get the necklace. And by the way, I have recently purchased another item from my wish list. I'm yet to film the unboxing video. It's at home. I'm looking at the package, but I haven't opened it because I'm enjoying delaying the time and having something to look forward to. I was actually planning to get this necklace first, but it was not available in the store. And of course, after I purchased the item, it came to the store. But I promised to myself that I will only add it for a special occasion. And the next one is going to be my birthday or Christmas. So I'm going to wait until then and I will purchase it. And of course, I will unbox the other item within the next couple of weeks. So if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please consider to do so. I really like 10 motif necklaces and that I can wear them like bracelets. I prefer that look than just a standard 5 motif bracelet. I think it's a lot more special and so beautiful. If I get the necklace, I will definitely not buy the bracelet because the bracelet and the necklace and I also have earrings on my wish list. It's gonna be way too much. So it's either a bracelet and a pair of earrings or a pair of earrings and a necklace. Otherwise, I will end up looking like a Christmas tree. <laughs> And my absolute favorite earrings in white gold were also available in the store. This was literally like a torture. Both of them were available. These are so pretty and I already have this size in yellow gold and I also have earrings in the large size. But the white gold is so pretty, I'm also considering getting it eventually. Anyways guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account, Black and Gold Style. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!